Hey, I'm Allie with Infragistics. Today we'll be working with the basic interactions of Windows Forms test automation with HP Unified Functional Testing, or UFT for short. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to record, add simple verification points, replay, and verify results. Before we begin, make sure that you have the .NET add-in installed to the property recordings against .NET Windows Forms applications. We'll get started by creating a new script. This new test will be a GUI test, or Graphically User Interface Test. And let's just give it the name, Our First Test. Then we'll click Create. Now with our new script created, we can start recording. Let's click Record. UFT will now ask us what type of application we're going to create. We're going to do a Windows Form application. So we're going to select the Infragistics Windows Editors WinGrid sample that's installed with your product. Hit Open, and then OK. Now UFT will start by opening the application, and we can start recording our user interactions against it. Let's move through our data and add in some interactions. Now, with everything entered, let's add two standard checkpoints. The first one will be on the grid. Click OK as selecting that as the grid. You notice how it creates a sample table of the data inside the grid. Click OK to accept that. Add a second one on one of the text editors that updated as the data changed, and click OK on that as well. Notice that the text property is selected. Now we're going to stop recording and close our sample. Let's click play and run what we have so far. We'll see our sample step through each of the actions we took as we recorded them. Next, it'll open the Run Results viewer. We'll see that it passes and that it had no errors as we replayed it and the data is correct. Next, we're going to make a small change, increasing the item price from $3 to $3.25. This will assimilate some sort of change in the program, and we're just going to hit play to see what happens. Now, even though we changed the price to $3.25, the verification points are still based on $3. Since we didn't update them, those will fail. Notice it will take a little longer for failed checkpoints to generate. Now, if the checkpoints are processed, the run results will open. Since this test is in a failed state, we're going to review where it failed. As you can see, all of these basics UI steps passed. However, here we can see that the price marked is incorrect. And the total value for available budget was also incorrect. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of basic scripting with Interactions Windows Forms Test Automation for HP Unified Functional Testing. And there you have it. 
in a few minutes, you were able to record, add simple verification points, replay, and verify your results. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more easy to use videos, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.